Hey Virgo, it's Suzanne here to do your weekly reading a little late. Sorry about that. Um, you know, I could blame it on Mercury retrograde, but I'm not. It's all me. I just overextended myself in the last few days. So let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. I gotta tell you, I have not seen a lot of your card coming up this week. I don't know what that means. Actually, I haven't seen a ton of Major Arcana, frankly. That means that, you know, we're all dealing with things, you know, on the, the earthly plane. I feel like, and that's what it is. It might be that spirit is kind of just staying out of our way, letting us make some mistakes. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing. All right, so let's see what we have. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership so you might already be in something. And then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, so it's not surprising to me, honestly, that, that you guys, you know, I don't think I've gotten these two cards for anybody else. So I might be dealing with somebody here, um, you know, you might already be in some type of connection. Okay, and then we have the unexpected. It's like, if you love yourself first, okay, it feels like something unexpected could happen that gives you the opportunity to give your relationship a chance. I, I don't know about you, but I love this card. I love the unexpected. There's nothing worse to me than complete routine. I know some people thrive in routine. Not me. I, I like the idea of not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow because of the potential and the opportunity. I've always been like that. You never know what's going to happen. All right, so the bottom row is going to represent you. So you might be truly in your mode of hermit. You know, you might be you might be spending some time alone to figure this out. You know, if we see hermit in your reading, that'll be very interesting. So let's see. Well, what do we have? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, okay. There you are. The first card in your portion of the reading. That's so funny. I love it when I love it when they do that. And Queen of Pentacles. So, Queen of Pentacles, I will say, has shown up in this spot so many times, too many times to count this week. So you might be dealing with another earth sign, all right? But regardless, this person, they know what they want. They know, um, you know, they might be, they might be somebody that's very nurturing to you. You might be pushing this away right now to, you know, figure out what is best for you. You know, how, how do you, 
love yourself better? You know, how do you, it's like, you're trying to figure out possibly if you want to give to this relationship anymore or to this connection. But I feel like either way, you are definitely have been taking some time alone. And, you know, I feel like that's a good thing. Two of Swords. Okay, so you might be taking some time alone to really try to figure out a choice that you want to make. Okay, because Two of Swords is not making a choice. Okay, it's somebody that's repressing their feelings. You know, there's kind of a cold energy going towards this person. And I don't think this person has any idea why. There's something going on with you. Ace of Wands. Okay, so this person could be looking for, you know, to reignite this connection. You know, it almost feels like they're um, grasping at straws right now to try to figure out, like throwing spaghetti on the wall to see what sticks with you. And I don't feel like you appreciate it. I feel like, you know, you want to be left alone. And again, you know, I definitely feel like you're in this energy because I haven't seen you in any other reading, I don't think. King of Swords. God, this is a card that is, this is very similar to a lot of the readings this week. So, you know, this person, I feel like just wants, at this point, wants to know the truth. I feel like they have, again, I feel like they've taken the throw the spaghetti on the wall approach, trying different things with you, trying different approaches. Um, you know, I will tell you, it's completely in an effort to kind of figure you out, but it's, there's authentic feelings, authentic passion behind it. I feel like the unexpected part, you know, is on your end. Like whatever you do with this person will be unexpected to this person because this person feels like they can't get any traction with you. Hierophant, yeah. I feel like you're trying to decide, you know, do you want to commit yourself to this or not? And I feel like the decision isn't between... Um, this person and somebody else. I feel like it's a decision between this person and you being alone. Like you're contemplating, you know, is all of this even worth it? And with this, give your relationship a chance. I feel like it is worth it. And that might be the unexpected piece for you that you come to the conclusion that this connection is worth it. You know, you could be going through something right now, for sure. Two of Wands. Yeah, this person knows what they want. They know, you know, there's no there's no ambiguity here. This person knows that they want to be with you. But you don't know if you want to be with them. And it's because... There's something around this, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know, Virgo has a tendency to give a lot. They give a lot because they, you know, they see, they see the results of their efforts. I feel like, you know, in the past with this person, you might not have seen any results from your efforts. And... It's because you might have overgiven. There might have been an imbalance here between the two of you. You could have given too much of yourself, and it's like you, you're just tapped out. You're just tapped out. Ooh. Ace of Cups. You know, I was just going to say, how unexpected. And there it is. So you are... You, you know, I feel like after you spend some time alone here, 
after you figure out what's important to you and how to give to yourself first, how to love yourself first, that allows you to open yourself up to new love. And right here it's saying give your relationship a chance For some of you, this might be somebody brand new. For others, you know, it's giving this person a chance in love again. But it's going to be very different this time. It's not going to be you doing all the giving, you know. Let's see. So we have Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. That's passion and love. You know, if this person didn't show you how much passion they had in the past for you, I feel like they're they're trying to do that now with that throw the spaghetti on the wall approach. Like they're trying everything and it's, it's very unattractive to you. <laughs> um, but again, their intentions are true. You know, the feelings behind what they're doing are good and true. Let's see. All right, yeah, Six of Swords. This person just wants to move forward with you. They want to, They want the two of you to be out of the energy that you're in right now in the hermit mode. They want you to be together. They don't want to be separated in any way. They want to move towards, you know, feeling good again. Two of Swords for you. Look at that, the hermit. We have the hermit next to each other. It's clarifying the two of swords. So, you know, not only is the hermit next to the two of swords, it's being clarified. So, and I, you know, I felt like that was going to happen. <laughs> I really did. Um, The choice is yours, okay? Two of Swords, you know, is about not making a, ch a choice. So the Hermit, it's clarifying because that's you. This is your choice, okay? And you may not need to know that. You may already know that whatever's going on here is your choice. It's your choice to unblock your heart. It's your choice to, you know, put yourself first, okay? Which I feel needs to happen. And then up here, Two of Wands, this person has the King of Swords again. This King of Swords gets around this week, I'll tell you. Okay, this person, 100%, sitting next to the King of Swords here with Two of Wands, absolutely knows what they want here. They have... They not only know what they want now, but they have a vision for the future with the two of you. Like this person, I feel like is, you know, waiting around, biting their nails, just going nuts, trying to figure out what it is that you needed time to think about. And then over here, Ace of Cups for you. We have the star. So again, there, for some of you, I honestly feel like you're, the reason you're taking so much time alone is because there is, there could be for some of you, somebody new that you consider your heart's desire. It might be an Aquarius, and this could be completely new love that is getting ready to bloom, okay? Like this person over here, I feel like they're coming across a little bit desperate to you, which is very unattractive. Unexpected. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. 
this new love here, and again, this could apply to this other person, okay? If you consider this person your heart's desire in some way, it could be, you know, about a fresh start in love. But for some of you, I feel like you're considering somebody new, and it could be somebody at work. And this is why you had to remove yourself from this situation or just not give to it the way you were giving to it before. You know, but Eight of Pentacles is also about expanding your knowledge in some way. You could be, I feel, I mean, with the Hermit here, you're absolutely doing that. You're expanding your knowledge about how you are in a relationship. You know, do you give too much? Do you not put yourself first? This give your relationship a chance could apply to this person. It could apply to this new endeavor down here. Okay. Let's see. I'm just curious. I'm going to pull a card for give your relationship a chance. King of Cups. Okay. So... Whoever in this scenario doesn't know, whoever you have unspoken love for, I feel like that's the direction that you're going towards. If you've never told this person that you love them, that might be who you're going towards. If you haven't told this person down here, this could be who you're going towards. but it's wherever your heart is committed. You're figuring out where your heart is committed and making sure that you're able to come into whatever connection it is, you know, with a high degree of self-love and self-respect. The unexpected part here um, is that, you know, this could be somebody new at work. And I feel like if you go towards this person, this person is getting an unexpected jolt. And with you being in deep hermit mode, you know that. All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you for this week. Um, you know, I feel like uh, you've kind of gotten the short end of the stick <laughs> uh, the last uh, couple of weeks. That certainly wasn't my intention, but um, anyway, I apologize for that. And if, uh, if you're looking for a personal reading, of course, you can reach out. I'm always here for you. You will get a response quickly. And uh, I hope you have a great week. All right. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.